Welcome back to Let's Bark About It and Meow Too. Today we have on the show a few cat rescue groups. And so with us now is Michelle Gagnon from Caring Hearts Cat Rescue. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> Michelle, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> so Caring Hearts Cat Rescue, tell me a little bit about how your organization got started. We started mostly, I've rescued all my life. And um, in October 2015, I had a feral colony a very large feral colony on the outside city limits. So there wasn't much, like many people that could actually help me or anything. So I took it upon with volunteers to trap, neuter, release all of these back to where they came from. And then it just escalated from there. There was a need, people were contacting me. And then I figured, well, we should try this for Thunder Bay and surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. And it's been ongoing ever since, so it's, and I work with Superior Street Cats. I was a volunteer back then, and I still work closely with them. And uh, we rescue as many cats as we can possibly can. And then we vet them all. They're all spayed and neutered, vaccinated rabies. And then we try to rehome as many as possible. We do have two sanctuaries, which are on the outskirts of the city limits. And uh, the one sanctuary right now has 18 cats in it. And the other one, approximately, I would say 12 right now because we've had a few adoptions. Mm -hmm. And um, the ones that are really feral that couldn't go back due to disease or you know anything that wouldn't, they wouldn't thrive in their environment came to the sanctuary. So they'll live there the remainder of their days. That's really unique as far as a cat rescue organization is having these sanctuaries. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about each of these sanctuaries. Um, we started with one and then we figured it wasn't, uh, it was a little bit inconvenient, the location, so then we moved and one of the partners, I have two partners in this, um, she has been rescuing animals all her life too. So we figured let's do it on our own and she offered to her property actually to have a sanctuary and I thought that's wonderful and then I found another area for sanctuary and then uh, it's been nonstop ever since. And uh, it's a heated, definitely a heated, the one sanctuary is actually in a home Mm -hmm. and uh, there's the outdoor enclosure and all that. It's heated. I mean, they're not out in the cold or anything. So it's just like a home setting for the cats. Is it a separate structure from No, the it isn't. Or? The one isn't, the other one is. Okay. Yeah, so they're both very, uh, it's like a home setting. It really is. So they're comfortable. It's heated environment. Um, we spend as much time with them as possible. Um, they're doing really well. They're thriving. They're healthy. So you said the one sanctuary has 18 cats yes. right now. Yes. And are these the cats that are up for adoption or are these the cats that are living their lives out there? Those are the ones that are going to be living their lives out there. Okay. Yeah. So do you have volunteers that tend to this sanctuary? Um, we, not that many because sanctuaries are like outside the city limits. So many yeah. people when they say, oh, it's too far, I'm not going to drive there. That's fine. So it's mainly me, myself. Uh, and I? <laughs> yeah, me, myself and I. <laughs> And uh, the one partner, Irene, that has the sanctuary, and then we have another partner that does mostly the Facebook adoptions, and so it's working out really well. So the cats at this sanctuary are not up for adoption, but you do have a lot of cats that are. Yes, definitely, are. and these are some that are up for adoption, and um, we're receiving two more from a northern community probably this week sometime. So you get a lot of the kittens, uh, my understanding is, that uh, from the Superior Street Cats yes, Trap Neuter Release Program. Yes, we do, because it's really difficult to trap kittens, and then they cannot vet them when they're so young, so right. we keep them and socialize them, have them fully vetted, and then we have them for adoption. Great. And they really turn out to be very good pets. They do. Most, yeah, they do. I love watching the videos on your Facebook page. Oh yeah, we have many. <laughs> <laughs> you do have many. So mm -hmm. uh, your Facebook page is one way that people can connect with you and uh, and see, not only get involved and donate, but see the animals that are up for adoption, correct? Yes, and we're also working on a web page right now. Mm -hmm. So that should be, hopefully, by the end of March, be up and running. Okay. And we're working on getting registered also, so that's time consuming. As a registered charity. Yes. So if people want to get involved, what are some of the ways that they can get involved? They can you? foster, fundraise. We always look for people to help us fundraise, that's for sure. Um, a lot of fostering really helps too, yeah. mostly. 
If they volunteer their time, that's perfect. That'd be wonderful. So how would they get a hold of you to get involved? They can uh, contact us through our email, which is caringheartscatrescue at gmail.com, mm -hmm. or they can uh, contact us on our Facebook page. Okay. Uh, if they want to text us, I do have a number they can call. It's 807-626-6420. Okay. And um, just let us know what they're interested in doing, yeah, and uh, we great. can go from there. And do you take donations? Absolutely, we do. So what are some of the things that you need? We always need canned food, definitely. Clumping kitty litter, mm -hmm. that's definitely, we go through that like crazy. Um, definitely monetary. They can do the donations right to Highview Animal Hospital or Crossroads. That's wonderful. And uh, right to our accounts because we can never, you know, keep up with our accounts. It's, there's always something. So, right. You know. And the fee to vet these animals are pretty costly. As oh, definitely. Every pet owner knows. Especially when we have that many, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, we have a special furry guest here today that mm -hmm. you wanted to feature that we have up for adoption. Okay, this is Kitty. Come here, Kitty. Come here. Come here. Come on. Kitty is so well behaved. We had Kitty running around in the boardroom earlier. <laughs> so Kitty's part Maine Coon. She's two and a half years old. Look the other way. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. She's very passive. Um, we rescued her with I would say it's not really a sibling, but they were raised together and mm -hmm. her friend is two years old. And she's a tabby, so I thought I'd bring Kitty today, so she's get some view time. And uh, Kitty's vetted; she's spayed and ready for adoption. So, uh, when you say vetted, you mean that she has all of her? She's been vet checked, and yes, she has all of her first yes. shots. She's going to be and... checked again by the vet. Okay. She's had all her shots according to the person that surrendered them, but she will be returning to the vet. Oh, so oh, Kitty came from uh, an, an owner, yes. an owner surrender. Yeah, she, 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 yeah, she surrendered two cats. Oh, so yeah. she's very social. She's very social. They're both really social. So do they need to be rehomed together or can they be separated? I think they can be separated. Yeah. Um, she's more independent. She is. A, tell her. me a little bit about her personality. She's very passive, very passive. Um, she has a bed that she sleeps on and... I mean, every time I go and see her, she's on her bed. As soon as she sees me, obviously she jumps down and comes for cuddles and hugs. And uh, she's very passive cat, like very quiet. She is. Yeah. 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 Very nice nature. So, how would you go about uh, adopting Kitty if you were interested in her? We have uh, an adoption contract on our Facebook page. You just contact us. We can either email it to you. And then uh, we review it, and then we do home inspections also okay. prior to any adoptions. And then you can come and meet whatever cat you're interested in at that time once you're approved, and then we go from there. So you take applications. Um, what if somebody wanted to meet Kitty they, prior to? We make arrangements to meet, definitely. That's great, because she's in foster care right now. Um, I'm fostering you're her. You're fostering but, her. Yeah, I'm fostering her <laughs> and her friend. The me, myself, and I team. <laughs> yeah, I know. But um, she will be going to foster care probably later this week, and we do have a foster that will take both. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Michelle, that's great work that you guys are Thank doing. Thank you. Thank you. That's wonderful. So we can, uh, we can put Kitty away. I wanted to talk to you about some of the other kitty cats that you okay. have up for adoption as well. Thanks, Lori. Thank you, Lori. Yeah, we have, these are all our cats that we have for adoption. There's probably more, but these are the <laughs> ones that uh, all have been vetted. They've all been spayed and neutered, vaccinated. Wow. I know. You I have know. so many. I know. So these are all in foster care? Pretty much. Every one of them is in foster care right now. Wow. Yeah. So. So is there any that you wanted to bring any attention to? or? Um, actually, Evie and Bo, right on top here, the mm -hmm. two black and white tuxedo cats. Right. Her siblings. Um, however, they could be separated. Um, Bo is very independent, the male. They're just gorgeous. They're about the same size as Kitty. And um, they're very passive, both of them, very quiet. Molly's a new rescue that we just acquired there. So she's, in fo she's fostering with me right now. So I'm getting very attached to Molly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hazards of the job, eh? Oh, it is, it is. 
Misty's been with us quite a while. This the tuxedo right there. Yeah. She's very passive also, very friendly cat. And uh, our Dickens is semi-feral. We're working with Dickens right now, but he's been neutered. And Juliet's the other feral right there. She's semi-feral. We're working with her. She's so gorgeous. So some of these cats need socializing. Just the, the just, some of them. Just some of them. We have um, five kittens that uh, were surrendered that are semi-feral, so we're working with those. Well, that's great, Michelle. Thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching today. And uh, if you're interested in being on uh, Let's Bark About It, you can go ahead and contact us through our Facebook page, Let's Bark About It. Um, we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.